Olympic Hill in Arlington from above and below. That's what this story is about today. But first, I was sidetracked as I started taking these photos uh, earlier this morning by this blue substance. At first, I didn't know what it was from a distance. It kind of looked like, to me, a half a dozen Smurfs got hit by a semi and exploded. But on closer examination, I determined it was actually construction chalk. Uh, it's blue, so you can see it good, and it outlines things. And someone had taken at least a gallon and thrown it, maybe out of a moving vehicle or something, because it kind of exploded and went everywhere, and it was like a half inch deep in some spots, but it went all over the foliage and trees and made for a really, really weird thing. But anyway, uh, back to the story. Um, as I show you these murals, these beautiful murals that I thank God no one has, has vandalized and uh, put a lot of graffiti on, and if they have, they've been touched up or whatever because they are in real good shape still. And they were done, I think, about seven years ago. You'll see a plaque through this by a gentleman who actually painted the murals that would be on the west side. But back to the main story. Uh, the reason I'm showing Olympic Hill was because back in the late 60s, a gentleman from Arlington had the good idea of going to Cedar Crest Golf Course driving range and stealing thousands of golf balls. With these, he took them to the top of this hill and rolled them down. I knew someone who was in a Volkswagen at the bottom. They said it sounded like popcorn going off inside their car, and the balls rolled all the way down to the other end of town. They were ever, everywhere. I won't mention any names, but I think you know who it was. Anyway, take care and have a good day. Bye.